Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anka and I have a reading vlog for you guys today. So I don't think I've done a reading vlog about a single book where I talk in depth about it besides the Shadowhunter read along vlogs in a while. So I figured it was about time I do it. But before I start talking about the book, did you see the flowers I just got? Oh my gosh, they are so 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 pretty. Like the lavender with the white and the different like it's a beautiful bouquet. I just wanted to share that because I'm in love. I love it so much. It's so cute. Anyway, on to the book that I'm reading. So I picked up You Have a Match by Emma Lord and I love that it's a Reese's Book Club read. I think it was at the beginning of the year where I saw Abigail from Abigail's Cup of Tea reading that book and she recommended the book to anyone who loved the Parent Trap. So The Parent Trap, the one with Lindsay Lohan, was my all-time favorite movie growing up. I have seen that movie more times than I can count, like that's not true, but I've seen it so 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 many times. It was my absolute favorite so I figured I had to read this one and it takes place at a summer camp so I figured that would be perfect to read during the summer. So I have only read like the first three chapters but the book is about a young girl named Abby and her best friend Leo he is adopted and he wants to take this like 23andMe DNA test type thing to see if he can find out a little bit more about you know his life so Abby decides to take one with him together with their other best friend and when Abby gets the DNA test back she finds out that she has a sister that she knows absolutely nothing about and to her it doesn't make sense because I think she's 16 and it says the sister is 18 but she has like three or four little brothers so it's a bit vague there but I'm about to get to the chapter where she's going to meet her sister for the very first time so I'm really excited to really dive into this story and see like how are they like they say that they're sisters but like who are their real parents what is going on because for as far as abby knows like the people that she grew up with they are her real parents so did they give up her sister before she was born or is she adopted i have absolutely no idea and i'm so excited to dive into it so that is what i'll be doing right now So it has been a couple days since I actually talked to you guys So I figured it was time for a little book update But before I talk about the book I just picked up a package that I want to show you guys first And I'm actually still having breakfast So I'm just drinking my coffee And I figured I'd spoil myself a little since it's the weekend And I got some croissants so I'm gonna eat those in a bit, but let's see, because I got a paper and word package and I'm so excited because oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. And it's like just beautiful pink on the inside. Like these are my two favorite colors, the pink and the yellow, so it's absolutely perfect. I am so happy I managed to get my hands on these. So they are based in the UK and I'll make sure to leave the shop link down below. But I am so happy I got it, so obviously 
I mean, don't get me wrong, this one's also by Paperword, also amazing, but I'm gonna have to switch my book to this one, especially because it has like the same pink writing on the cover, so I'm happy. Okay, anyway. Let's put this away and then give you an actual reading update. Okay, so I did manage to do a little bit of reading last night and I'm currently approximately 120 pages into the book and so far I'm really, really enjoying it. So Abby just left for the camp and she is going as a camper and her sister Savi, she is one of the like camp counselors. There's kind of this vibe going around like with Abby, like my big sister is trying to play the boss of me and she's not really sure how she feels about it. So they haven't really had a whole lot of time to talk about everything yet but they are getting to that point. So they're at the point right now where they found out that their parents, they knew each other at some point in their life and they do know abby's parents are like both of their parents so they are trying to figure out what exactly happened in life that made them give up savvy while abby was born like a year and a half later so i'm really curious to see where the rest of the story will take us so i'm just going to relax i'm going to eat my breakfast have my coffee They just found a clue to something that they both have and both have been gifted from by their mothers and they think it is like I said a clue to unlocking something that happened which made their parents give Savvy up. Mother's scared to leave her all. okay guys so now the book is making um uh, the hunger games references so we've had a bunch of disney references some harry potter references and now we're getting the Hunger Games references. Okay, I am here for this book. This book is so cute and so funny and I'm enjoying it so, so much. And I'm a bit over the halfway point. So I have absolutely no plans for the entire day. So I just plan on sitting here, reading my book, drinking my coffee. I will probably have some booktube playing in the background catching up on some of you guys' videos and just have a mostly relaxing day but i can't wait to see what other cute references will be in this book book and oh my gosh I just love this book so much I am going to give it I'm still debating between four or five stars but I just absolutely loved it I think I'm just gonna go with five stars it was so cute and so interesting so about halfway through the book we found out at least a big part of what happened between all of their parents and why they gave up Savvy and the whole story and I love how the story after that becomes about rebuilding something. It was just so good and there are so many like cute references to like I said before Harry Potter, The Hunger Games, Disney, uh, I saw some K-pop, I saw what else did I see? There were some more, there were a lot more references and I think that that is really cute. 
I really adored Abby and Savvy as the main characters of this book because they are both very relatable in very different ways and I just enjoyed reading about them so much and I can definitely recommend this book to pretty much anyone. It's such a cute, fun, heartfelt summer read. I definitely cried a little towards the end, but it was just so good and it has just this amazing ending and I really, really loved it. So I think I'm going to end this video with that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.